Hi, I'm Tim. In this video, we're going to be looking at the IPVO DoCam. So, as you can see, it's a very small, compact package. It's nice and uh, neat. So, it comes in this cardboard box, and when you open it up, it comes with a nicely padded, simple cover. It's not going to give it a lot of protection, but if you're just throwing it in a bag, it's going to give you a bit of what you need to keep it nice and safe. So it's got this big elastic band, which is designed to then be put back on again with this uh, sort of neoprene cover. In the, the box here comes with some instructions in the center there. What this is telling us is just how to get started. And the key thing about the Ducam is it's really simple to use, which means that when you're picking it up and moving around and you want to get it set up again, it takes almost no time to get organized and get started with it. The Ducam itself is 220 millimeters long by 63 millimeters wide by 22 millimeters deep. So it's really nice and compact and it weighs a bit over 330 grams. So really easy and light to carry around. But in this package, we've got a really powerful full visualizer. So it's got a full 4K resolution, um, lots of pixels uh, in there to use. It's full eight megapixels if you're using this as a stills camera and it's got full autofocus as well, both continuous and single shot autofocus, which you can control in the software. The maximum capture area will nicely capture an A4 piece of paper, and it's got a one meter long cable for connecting it up to the computer. As with all of IPVO's cameras, this works with Mac and Windows and with Chromebook, and there's separate software for each of those platforms. It comes in two options. You've got this gray one that I've got here, and also the Creators Edition, which comes in a nice bright shade of yellow. When you first pick up the Ducam, what you'll notice is how sturdy and solid it feels. So it's got a really solid metal base at the bottom, which gives a nice bit of weight to it when you're using it. So it's nice and stable, doesn't topple over easily. The rest of the body and the arms are made of a nice robust plastic. And that has a couple of benefits. First of all, it's light, which means that the weight is all in the bottom, keeps it nice and stable. And also it's really robust and will take a bit of movement and a bit of use. This really feels like you can pack it up uh, every day, move it between wherever you're going. If you use it in a classroom, move it between classrooms. If you're using it for business, it can go in a briefcase um, nicely and be pulled out when you need to without too much worry about it um, getting broken. Everything fits inside nicely and it's really well designed with some nice rubber feet on the bottom, which are going to keep it nice and stable when you're um, on the desk. And also just little things like when where the head clips in, there's a little clip which holds it in place so that it doesn't move around when it's packed up and you can hold it at any angle. It's not going to sort of open up on its own. Once you start unfolding it, which you do by pulling up the little tab that says lift on the end, the hinges have a nice bit of weight and um, stiffness to them. They feel like they're going to be robust, they're going to last. And when you lift it up, it will stay in whatever position you choose to put it in. You've got three points of movement. So you've got the base, hinge here, you've got the hinge at the top, and you've also got the hinge with the head, which means there are four separate parts. It's easy to keep it parallel with whatever documents you want on your surface because of the nice uh, stiff arms. But you've also got plenty of movement. So if you do want to point it up very quickly and use it as a webcam, you can just flip up the screen. There aren't many controls and indicators on here, but you've got the key ones you need. So there's an LED indicator on the front of the camera. Then you've got one button just underneath the lift tab, which is for flipping the image, which is great if you are rotating the, the visualizer around and most useful if you're gonna use it as a webcam, you can point it up quickly, press the flip button, and it will rotate the image to focus on whatever's in front of it rather than whatever is underneath the visualizer. The DoCam doesn't have a microphone, so it's not the ideal thing for a solo webcam, but it works really well if you've got a microphone already, maybe if you're using a laptop and you want a better quality webcam than the one that's built in, and you've got a microphone in the, in the laptop already, or if you've got a headset microphone or something else, it works brilliantly as a webcam uh, camera because of the quality. Once you've opened up the DoCam, you can then access the cable, which is coiled nicely. As I said, it's one meter long, and it's a really robust, um, strong feeling USB cable with a nice connector on the end. So although it's not that long, it's actually really convenient for most of the times you're going to use it because it means that you haven't got loads of cable trailing, trailing around. And if you do need to extend it, it works really well with USB extender. I've tried it with a couple and I had no issues. So if you're using it with a laptop or you're using it with a desktop that's quite close to you, you won't have any issues with the cable length. In a classroom, I found it's really helpful because being able to 
have a small cable means that winding it up is quick afterwards. So if I need to move around quickly, go to another room, that takes almost no time. There are no visible cables going from the base up to the camera. All the cables are hidden inside the hinges, which makes it nice and neat. And again, when you're folding it down, it means there's no cable sticking out because the main cable is kept neatly between the base and the bottom of the visualizer. The DoCam appears as a USB camera when you plug it into a computer, which means it works automatically with all sorts of software like Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, Skype for video calling. And if you want to use it for something else, I've used it successfully with OBS Studio, I've used it with Camtasia Recorder, I've used it with lots of other software, and it works brilliantly um, as a straightforward USB camera. But of course, if you use it with IPvo's visualizer software, you get a lot more options. The IPvo visualizer software recognizes the DoCam itself, gives it a little image to show the DoCam in the corner, and it gives you lots of options for being able to control things, which on this visualizer you don't have buttons for. But actually I find that often, because I'm inter interacting with the software anyway when I'm using it, it's more convenient to be able to access those functions within the software anyway. You've got all sorts of options available to you in the software. As well as the flip button on the DoCam itself, in the software you can rotate and flip the image in whatever way you want to. You can control exposure and white balance, and there are loads of focus options as well. You can use a manual focus if you want to control that yourself, and then you can lock the focus so it doesn't move. Or there's two autofocus options. You can have continuous autofocus where it will try and pick the thing that you're trying to focus on and it will refocus when you put something closer or further away. And there's also the single autofocus where you can press a button in the software and it will focus and then it will stay focused on that point. And I find that great if I'm using a flat surface and I want to show pieces of paper and then I can use a single autofocus to lock it onto that piece of paper. And then if I put my hand or a pen or something across it, it doesn't change the focus point. It keeps it where the paper is. So when I'm writing underneath the visualizer, maybe on a whiteboard, it keeps the focus on the text that I'm writing rather than changing focus to my hand. If you want to see more details about the IPvo visualizer software, I'll link to my video about it up here and in the description. And there's a new 2021 version with a few minor changes, mainly to the way it looks. And I'll be having a video of that coming out soon. So my thoughts about the DoCam, it's a really high quality visualizer. And that's the most important thing with a visualizer is the image quality. It's easy to get it parallel to the surface and it just works really easily. When you're moving around, whether that's uh, as a business professional or as a teacher, and you need to be able to go between locations, it's very, very quick and easy to pack up and open up when you need to. And it packs down really small and compact to fit in a bag. I think there are some things that could be improved. Obviously the design means there's only one button on it. And while I think that's a really good decision for the style of visualizer, it does mean you don't have some of the easy access to those controls that you do with other visualizers. And the thing I think I miss most from the visualizer is there's no light included in this one. So you do have to make sure you're in a really well lit environment when using it. The cable being short isn't a problem because as I said, you can use an extension if you need to. It is fixed though. So that is a potential point of failure you need to be a little bit careful of because if you did pick it up and wave it around by the cable, it's not gonna last that long. But as long as you're sensible, it does feel really robust in use. So I think the DoCam here is a visualizer that actually appeals to more people than some of IPvo's other cameras. So it's absolutely fantastic for teachers in the classroom, particularly if you're a teacher who needs to move around between rooms because it's very compact and easy to carry. It's great if you're a professional um, and you need a high quality webcam for demonstrating products or showing documents. And as more of us are doing remote meetings, that's a really important thing when we can't physically show things to people. The fact that it packs up very small and particularly that it's nice and flat, it will fit really nicely into a briefcase or a bag, won't take up much space. And it doesn't weigh that much either, at just over 330 grams. It's really easy to have in your bag for just those occasions when you need it. You're not gonna notice it most of the time. The software continues to improve and they bring out updates all the time, making it more robust and more stable. I think that adds to the utility of the product, makes it much more usable for lots of different creative people and also business people and teachers. If this has been a useful video to you, please hit that like button. It really helps let YouTube know that this was a useful video and more people should see it and it helps support the channel as well. Do check out some of my other videos about IPvo visualizers and their software. The links are all in the description below. Thanks for watching.